All right, folks, we are here in Lake Tahoe. I'll try to not screw this video up again. Um, the truck doing a show tonight. There's the venue. Uh, it's a really cool venue. Beautiful truck. All right, I promised I would be doing more videos, so I'm going to be doing more videos. I'm going to start to show you the stage. It's a massive stage. We played here two years ago and just had an incredible show, so I'm expecting a great show tonight. There's the... I think they said they've sold... yesterday. As of yesterday, they had sold 6,000 tickets. Um, all right, there they are. All right, so for those of you that don't know this, I uh, signed up with Pearl back in January. And this is the road kit that I got, and I just am in love with these drums. This is the Maple Gum, Master Series Maple Gum. Uh, Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 toms. And let me just tell you, I've never actually taken drums out of the box and they sound great. Now normally, most, most drums, uh, you know, six months maybe, a year to open up before, but, you know, before you really get that nice sustain on the toms. Uh, these I took out of the box and they sounded ready to record right out of the box. I mean, I didn't have to tune them. It was crazy. It was crazy. So we got this rack. I love the rack. Uh, my Sabian cymbals, you know me and Sabian. I love Sabian. So uh, over here we have uh, the beginning of the show. The only tracks that we use are it's just the the two minute opener to for us to get out on the stage and that's that's it no other tracks everything else is played live i do use the uh the rhythm watch and i've got two pedals down there so this one goes to the next song and i've got uh we've got about three or four songs that that immediately go uh, to a quicker tempo towards the end and so I can hit that pedal and immediately the click just goes in real time to the next tempo. And then the other one is a stop start. It needs to be about right there. And that's about right there. That's where they go. Yeah. So, um, and I've got, uh, and I use these gun muffs. Uh, these are ultra phones. The ultra phones are In my opinion, the, the best gun muff phones on the planet. They're fantastic. Uh, they're a bit pricey, but they're worth it. They're worth every penny. And you can see these are falling apart. I've actually been using these in the studio. And they go back in my stick bag, and then they go back to Nashville. So there's the Tom. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Sabian symbols. Sabian has just been the best. I love Sabian. I will be with Sabian until the day the day I die. They're just they're amazing. Anyway, so here I'll show you my book real quick. So for those of you who don't know, Alabama had 43 number one hits. It's very entirely possible that I don't even know all of the all of the number ones that they had. So I carry a book around, and there it is. Uh, there's my tempos. Boy, that's really organized, isn't it? That's about the extent of my spreadsheet right there. So, um, and I try to write out the the fills, the exact uh, feel. Teddy is very specific as the kick drum pattern that he likes. This is the song that we open up the show with, Tennessee River. So, uh, 
book is a bit of a mess, but it uh, saves my life. Usually, like the stuff in the back is usually songs that somebody will be holding up a sign saying, this is our 50th Alabama show. Can you play uh, We Can't Love Like This Anymore? You know, can you, can you play that? Or There's No Way, that's another one. Um, anyway, I told you I'd be doing more videos and I will be doing more videos. Tomorrow's a travel day. And also I want to introduce you to Dwayne, my drum tech. You're gonna like Dwayne. He's a really funny cat. So um, let me know, again, I'm starting up the YouTube channel. Let me know what you want me to talk about uh, on the channel, uh, some things that you've been working on. If there's feels that you're struggling with, uh, if, I, if I know how to play them, then I'll try to help. Uh, so just let me know. All right, I'll talk soon. Maybe introduce me to that day with the man named David Thomas. David Thomas, it's nice to be right there. He would love to see a couple of years ago.